Friday. It's Vicky Kello. I'm your independent standing up demonstrator from Brisbane in Australia. Just a couple of minutes early, so we'll just wait. Hi, Mum. Just waiting for a little bit. Hi, Sue. Hi, Carrie. Oh, everyone's on. Are we all having a good Friday? Hi Beck. My internet's a bit slow trying to get on the iPad. Hi Marie. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in guys. We'll just wait a couple more minutes. And now I've popped up. Hi Kerry. Hope we've all had a good fri Friday or a good week. I've got a massive headache slash migraine and <clears throat> um, had it for two days. So that's a tad bit annoying. Hi Kim. Um, and this week I had a resilience session all day on Wednesday. So I'm not sure whether that may have contributed to my headache or not. It kind of scared the bejeebies out of me. Because even though I'm not finishing until September, it has felt, hi Karen, a long way away. And then I realised on Wednesday that it's 14 weeks. So I really need to make a decision of what I'm going to do and not think, oh my God, it's in September, it's a long way away. So yeah, um, I've been thinking about a few things and hopefully we can get a few things in order, but we'll just have to wait and see till the time comes. But it was it's very depressing at the moment because the first round of People at work are finishing 30th of June or the 28th of June really because that's the Friday and um, that's some of the I've worked with these people for 13 years some of these people have been in the business for like 30 years so the next week or two weeks is going to be quite depressing but I think it's just going to continue like that until we all finish I say hello everyone but can't stay to watch it's a bit time for me Oh, hi Sue, hope it's not too cold in New Zealand. Yeah, mum, he's coughing again. Um, he had his flu shot today. So uh, we go back in four weeks and get another flu shot and then he'll get his um, four-year-old needles as well. So um, my order finally arrived this week. So I was gonna do a bit of a um, show and tell of the order. Of what I receive so you everyone can have a look at that and then we'll get into crafting and make some cards so I'll flip you around and go from there
that's backwards. Put that on. All right. So this is the stamp set that I've used last week. This Daisy Lane. Um, but so that's not new. But what I wanted to show you was the little Daisy Punch. It's called the Medium Daisy Punch that comes with that. Um, so just in comparison, this is the existing Daisy Punch that was in last year's catalogue. And then this is the new Daisy Punch, which is the medium Daisy Punch. So this larger image cuts out the larger image in this and coordinates with the stamp set from last year. And I can't remember what that's called. Um, and then this um, punch coordinates with the little daisy image in here so that's pretty cute so this finally arrived so you can tell the difference between those two and then just to remind you I still have my um, daisy lane special going on so if you order this stamp set from me which is $40 you go in the drawer for a $25 voucher from me if you order the bundle, yes you can Marie, so if you order the bundle which is this daisy stamp set and the little punch, that's $61 and you go into the drawer for a $50 voucher from me and if you order all three things, you go into the drawer for a $50 voucher from me and you get a pack of clear faceted dots which are those, um, or faceted gems, which are the gems that I stuck in the daisies last week. Alright, so that this promotion is running all month. So if you want that, let me know and we can go get that. Um, so we'll put that away. The other thing that arrived is Butterfly Wishes stamp set. So this coordinates with this butterfly duet punch, which is carrying over from the occasions catalogue that went with the butterfly gala stamp. So then this butterfly cuts out this, and I don't know whether it cuts out the little one, but it definitely cuts out this one. So then this, if you've already got this punch, then it will coordinate with that. If not, um, these are all, they don't come as a bundle, you need to buy them all separately, but they do coordinate, which is pretty cool. So I've got this stamp, and this is a red rubber um, cling stamp. So that's pretty cool. And it doesn't stay on it that it's distinctive, but I've seen some stamping and it looks very distinctive the way it comes out. So that's pretty good. I'm a bit excited about that. I don't usually get very excited about butterflies, but... I decided I would go for that. Over the Moon, which is super cute. So I fell in love with the pigs straight away from last year and as soon as I saw the cows, I had to get the cows as well. But um, I haven't had a chance to ink this up yet. So, But there's been so many people use this and so many cool ideas of this on Pinterest and Facebook and stuff. So. I'm going to um, try and get some time over the weekend to craft if I can get rid of this headache. It is cute. I love it. Hi Donna. Pop on and share my video please and let me know that you've shared it. Yes, I love it, Kim. Best thing. Hi Wendy. Thanks for sharing. So, the other thing which I was really, really excited about getting was the Dino saws or the dino days and it comes with matching dies thanks Wendy so I've already put them on a magnetic sheet so I'm very excited that how much is the cow stamp um, I can show the inside of the catalog now Donna after I don't know the prices off by heart over the moon it's 35, so it's on page 32 of the catalogue. $35 for that one. Then 
Thanks, Karen. So the dinosaurs, now how cute are dinosaurs? I still have both the original, well, the previous stamp sets from Stamping Up that are dinosaurs. Um, no bones about it and Dino, Dino Roar, I think it is. Um, so I still have both of those and I can't get rid of them. But when I saw this, I had to get it. And this comes with matching dyes, so I'm very excited about that. And then the paper. So I haven't even had a chance to look at the paper yet. But we'll open it. This is a bit cute. So we've got dinosaurs on one side. Oh, and little half circles and squiggles. Thanks Donna. Oh, pink dinosaurs. Look at them. They're so cute. And the bigger dinosaur images, not these ones, I think there's some more. Oh, they've got little eggs. They're cute. Um, the dies cut them out. So this page, the dies cut them out. Yes, this sweet is so cute. So what Stamping Up has done, because, you know, you want the whole lot to make it easier. Oh, I love this. And that goes a bit with the Tropical Chic paper too. With those leaves. Oh, that's super cute. What they've done in the catalogue this year is put in sweets. So if we go Dino Days, page 100. Because you know you want the whole lot. Which gives so you only have to put one item number in, and you get the whole lot. Um, then so that's 132.50, and you get the stamps, the dies, the paper, the ribbon, which is this denim ribbon here, and these cute enamel embellishments. So they've got the leaves, some triangles, different shaped leaves, I think, on there. So all of that, and this suite it takes into account the bundle price. So, because if you just buy the stamp sets, then they're 37, and then the dies are 61, but if you buy the bundle, it comes down to 88, because you save 10%. But if you add up the 88, plus the 12.25, plus the 12.25, plus the 20, it adds up to 132.50. So, that's super cute. Is that one sheet of embellishments? Let's open it, Carrie. It says 60 pieces. Yep. Yeah. Because you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four. So that's seven fours. What is what's that? 28. And then they're counting all those triangles as separate ones because it says there's 60 pieces. So you get one sheet in there. Alright, pop them back in so I don't lose them. So that's a bit cute with that. And I've got a little boy, but that paper's got lots of pinks and stuff. I think it'll be good for boys or girls with that. Anyone loves dinosaurs. The other thing I got was this paper. Now, I didn't get the stamp set with this paper because it hasn't done anything for me just yet, but I'll probably end up getting it. But I'm not very good at using brushos or what we now call them pigment sprinkles. So I was thinking this way I don't have to be any good because the paper does it for me. But I am going to try, um, probably next order, and get the pigment sprinkles and see whether I can recreate this. But this looks much better than my blobby mess that I came up with every time I tried to use brushos. Oh, it's, I love that. Love that. <gasps> Look at those, it's like waves. Oh. I think I could be buying more packs of this paper. Oh, love that. 
So that's really pretty. And then the other suite that I got was woven heirlooms. And that comes with all of that. Oh, I love the blue. And yes, it's nice, isn't it, Donna? So this is the ribbon that comes with woven heirlooms. It's really pretty. And out on stage, if I can work out how to get this out. Yeah. We got shown that if you unpick that little cord there, you the tassels will flow flow freely. I'm not game enough to do it because I don't know whether I'll be able to stop it. But it looks pretty cool. That feels really nice and soft though. I like that a lot. Um, and you get sequins in this. Who doesn't love sequins? And these are all the new in colours. So you can see Pretty Peacock and Terracotta Tile. Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and I can't remember the other one, Purple Posy, so, oh yeah, so they're really pretty. These are the embossing folders that you get, and they're deep embossing, because these cut out the frames, so... You get the frames and so there's been a few tips on Facebook and Pinterest that you cut out first then you stick it through the embossing so you cut your frame and then you get your paper and I haven't tried any of this it only just came then you put your cut piece in here line it up and then run that through the um, big shot and therefore your frame is all embossed that's pretty cool so that comes with that that's the I love the font in this and the vintage style and then the paper in this as well is pretty cool I struggle a lot with vintage, but I think this makes it easy because to me vintage is sometimes a bit dirty and a bit, um, I still like clean lines. I don't like jagged edges and things like that. But this, I could get the vintage look and still have my clean lines. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. And then that comes in blue. So that's the seaside spray and the Rococo Rose. Oh, I like this. Don't like the triangles so much. Terracotta tile. Yeah, the colours are really good. Purple posy. Oh, I love that. And pretty peacock. I think out of all the colours, pretty peacock would have to be my favourite colour at the moment. But Rococo Rose is growing on me. That's really pretty. Oh, that's nice. So I think this would give me the vintage look without having to grunge up my paper because that freaks me out a little bit. So again, that comes in a big suite um, that Stamping Up have done because we know we want the whole lot. Instead of order, making us order five or six different uh, order numbers, we can order it all under one. And in the suite, you get the, um, which is pretty much, every, yeah, everything that I bought. So the stamp set, the dies and the embossing folders, the paper, the sequins, and the ribbon. Persian rug, not that I have one. Yes, very nice. So, and see, that's the embossing on the frames in the book. Isn't that pretty? So I haven't had a chance to try that out yet, but I'm going to. So like that a lot. 
And oh, the only other thing I got was the new embossing pastes uh, powders, which are the shimmer, the shimmer black and the shimmer white. Look how glittery they are. Very, very glittery. Oh, I'll have to try them out. That'll be cool. So I'll have to have play with them. And that's pretty much it for what I got, which is a lot, I know. But that's all right. And so each week I do a, a random draw of people who comment and share um, get a entry into the draw. So Adrian did a random generator before and Carrie Ann's won this. So congratulations Carrie Ann. This is some um, glimmer paper in 6x6. Six six. So it's old olive. I think it's like Bermuda Bay and the um, clear glitter. So I'll bring that to work next week, Carrie, when I'm in. Put that there. And then this is the sketch that we're working off. So this sketch, it runs all month long. Um, if you have an entry into the sketch, I've got this as a pinned post at the top of my um, Facebook page. So any entries need to be uh, listed in the comments of this uh, pinned post. And then at the end of the month, we'll do a random draw and um, you can win a prize as well. So that's the sketch we're working off. And we're working with the new in colours. And these are the cards that I've made that we'll recreate tonight. So they're a bit cute, hey? Can you see all them? Is that better? My stand is getting a bit loose. It's not holding my iPad as good as it used to. There we go. Hi Chrissy. All right, so when we're stamping um, multiple colors like this, we really should start with the lightest ink. Uh, like if we're stamping multiple colors in the same stamps. So I might start with Purple Posy. Now I do have my Purple Posy ink pad um, and a lot of people don't because it was pulled. It doesn't stamp a very crisp image. I'll compare with the purple. Oh, with the blue and this is why it was pulled so that if you guys haven't heard the story or seen you can see what the issue is here the purple is still leaving like bubbles and it's it's not a clear crisp image like the seaside spray is and I've done everything that Stamping Up has suggested because it's too, what's happened is it's too inky. So what they say to do when it's too inky is to get like your bone folder or a credit card and pull some of the ink out of the ink pad. So if you just get a, I'll do a post-it note that I've got here. So if you just run a post-it note or a credit card or something along and push the ink down and see the different images, like if we got a credit card, it'd probably be better. But I'm pulling some of that ink away. Now I've done that a number of times and I still can't get a clean image. So once Stamping Up re-release 
the Purple Posy ink pad, they are going to replace the faulty, the faulty ones. But that's just so that you guys know, like I've got it, but it's not great. All right, so we've got everything cut here tonight. And I'm using the in color paper. And I've just paired it with Sahara sand because I think that's the ribbon, the color that goes with the ribbons. So it's in the center of all the ribbon. So I've paired it with that and just to give it a bit of a neutral color as well. Along with the DSP in color pack. So that gives you all these different um, oh, I don't have it. So they've all got different um, patterns on them. I was going to try and do a different pattern each, but I've stuck tape on them already. But that's them. And then I've cut the frames with the stitched rectangles and I've just cut them out of the base layer that I'm doing as well so that this is going to be hidden behind here so you don't see that missing bit and then this is going to go over and this was an extra bit and I have these frames left over now from those bits that I can use on another card so waste not what not, make sure you use all your bits. So we might stick some of these together first to get rid of some of these pieces before I start stamping. And before we stick the um DSP down to the cardstock if we just wrap the ribbon just tuck it around there so it's hidden nicely behind there and then stick that down it just gives it a bit of a cleaner finish all right so we'll do that on all of them so then this is the Pretty Peacock. I think this is the, my favouritest colour at the moment. Now when you use the checked paper, it's very easy to line it up and make sure you get it straight. When you're using the other patterns, not so easy. So this DSP comes in a pack, you get 40 in a pack, so you get 10, um, no, you get 8 sheets of each, um, each colour, and you get 4, four each of each design, because there's 2 different designs of each colour. So you get 40 sheets, and they're 6 by 6 and they come in a pack and that's $20. So you get 40 sheets for that, which is pretty good value. When I was designing this card, I did originally have it on the white base. But then I thought with the ribbon, I really needed to have it on the Sahara sand base. And it pulls that ribbon through a bit easier. Now this is really pretty ribbon, but it's a bit thick and bulky to tie in a bow. I think it works much better 
when it's just a straight piece here. It is not very nice to tie in a bow. It's not very easy to tie in a bow is what I should say. Alright, so then I've just done my card fronts as well. So we'll just stick them down. Make sure they're all going the right way. This is Rococo Rose. So are we all loving the new ink colours? Have you all got a favourite? This is Seaside Spray. Love them. Thank you, Rhiannon. These are good. And then this is terracotta tile. That one down. And then purple posy. Pretty Peacock. Yes, although I find Purple Posy a bit wishy-washy. I don't know whether it's the ink, carrie or whether it's just because it is quite light. But, um, yeah, I think once everyone gets to have a play with all the ink pads, it'd be good. So they're the base of all our cards. That was nice and quick and easy. Now, <clears throat> I've got my inside layers, so when we're stamping, we'll have to remember to stamp the insides. I like the pretty peacock. Yes, that's my favourite. I'm not usually a greeny person, but that is really nice. So, the purple one, purple posy. I did this. flower and I did this stamp this sentiment so I find if you stamp this sentiment first that you hi Chelsea um, then you've got all the room in the world that you want for the flowers So we'll stamp that sentiment. And now we'll take that off and put that over there. And now when you're stamping, you kind of want some images stamped off. You don't you want it to look a bit like DSP you don't want it to be all within the frame that looks a bit too regimented okay and then we'll just stamp that one down there clean that one off now, I've, they all have leaves as well, and I've done the leaves in uh, the Sahara sand, which matches in the background paper, or the, yeah, the backing paper, as well as the ribbon. So then you kind of just stamp the leaves just to fill in the, 
the white space. Try not to rock the block so you don't get mess like I've just done. And we'll clean that off. And then each of these flowers has a different center. So in this stamp you'll see this is a flower center, this is a flower center, and this is a flower center. So this one goes in there, that one goes in this one, and this one goes in that one. So depending on which flower you use, make sure you get the right flower center so they match up. So I've used that. I need this one. And I've done the flower centers in So Saffron. Just to bring a bit of brightness to the, to the card. So try and line it up because there's a bit of a divot. I'm trying not to stick my head in the camera. Bit of divot in there so that you can line it up perfectly in there. There we go. And then, so that's the outside of that one done and we'll just get that flower image back and do the inside for that card. What's this stamp set called again? It's called Floral Essence Marie and this comes in a bundle with this punch which we will be using in a little bit. And then so when I stamp the insides of the cards, I usually just do three flowers like in the corner type thing. Now do keep in mind this image is very bobbly because this ink pad is a bit dodgy. Um, but stamping up will replace that once it's done. Once they've re-released the new images, uh, the new inks. So it is a little bit frustrating, but I do like the fact that they have recalled it and stopped selling it rather than having many more out there that, which is an inferior product. So just stamp the inside of those flowers then to finish that off. Okay, so purple posy is done. We might leave that to dry over in the corner and when we're doing multiple cards like this you want to work from lightest to darkest in the inks um, until you clean your stamps properly let's hope they got enough to cover this up yeah I think they will and it because it's in the annual catalog there'll be heaps if they run out they'll just ship some more over so again we'll start off with the sentiment First, that way we can place our flowers where we want them. Now this sentiment is wishing you a blissful future. I might stick this down the bottom. So we all got plans for the weekend. I'm going to use that same flower image this time again. Now sometimes with photopolymer stamps you need to let them sit on the ink pad for a little bit until all the ink has absorbed into the stamp and you'll get a better coverage. I've got a family fun day at the daycare tomorrow 
which will have animals and face painting and a jumping castle and I've got a stall there selling some cards and promoting my card classes so that'll be very exciting we'll just fill in the centers of them as well packing some of Tara's stuff away that's gonna take weeks mum so line your centers up I think it just finishes them off now in this suite and we are using some of these in some of the cards you get these furry flower centers I didn't want to put them on every flower. Cleaning and crafting. Oh, Donna, that sounds very exciting. I didn't want to put them on every flower because A, that would get very expensive and B, I think you would lose the effect of it if you stuck it on every flower. But we have stuck it on a couple of um, focal images. House looks like a Berlin bomb. Yes. And then we're stamping the leaves again in Sahara sand and it's light enough that it doesn't matter if you go over your sentiment because you can still read it underneath and these images are see-through so it doesn't take away too much just fills in some of that white space So then we'll also do the inside for the seaside spray card. Alright, and then we'll just finish off that inside with the flower centers. I haven't stuck any leaves on the inside because I think the, the flowers are enough. That color combo just looks so good if I say so myself. So there we finished the seaside spray so we'll just let that dry and we'll put those cards together shortly. And now we'll move on to the Rococo Rose. So this one I used the big open image and I used the same sentiment wishing you a blissful happiness. What is it? Yeah, Blissful Future, sorry. Okay. You just need to lightly tap, especially these newer ink pads, just lightly tap. You don't need to push in, otherwise you'll end up with a whole heap of ink on your um, clear block. And it'll end up everywhere. So randomly stamping this again. And then this has got the bigger flower center. That's just the plain circle. There's no divot in this one. So just line that one up. Get the edge of that one. And then just fill in those white spaces then with the leaves. And again, I've used the larger leaf image here with the Sahara sand because it matches the 
the ribbon nicely. Stick one coming down here as well. There we go. And then stamp the inside of that card. We'll do that one with the bigger image. Then finish off those flower centers. And just the edge of that. All right. Getting through them, see they don't take very long at all. They look like they take a lot of work, but they don't take a lot of work at all. So now we'll move on to the terracotta tile. So yeah, I like the Rococo. I think Pretty Peacock is my favourite, but the Rococo Rose is really growing on me. I've used the open flower again for the terracotta tile. Oh, let's stamp, stamp the sentiment first. So we've got enough room. And That could have ended up in a big mess. That was a bit lucky it didn't land on that white piece. Stamp that. Oh, I should have stamped the inside while I was doing that. Stamp the inside then too. get the flower centers done first time I stamped these I didn't stamp the flower centers and then I saw somebody on YouTube do it I'm like oh it just finishes the flower off so much just to be honest I didn't even really see them in the stamp I was wondering what they were and there's three different ones because they all match the different flowers very clever. All right, we've got the big leaves again still with this one. That just fills in some of the white space. Then that one's done, and then we've got Pretty Peacock. Hi, Sasha. Hi, Patricia. Oh, that's not the one I want to close up. Close up that, and Pretty Peacock is the last one. 
and with Pretty Peacock I've used the smaller, smallest flower and this big sentiment. So we'll stamp that first. Such a nice colour. And then this one. Now, because this is a bit of a darker colour, I do find it takes a little while to dry without smudging so just be careful don't touch it too quickly afterwards otherwise you can end up in a world of mess so we'll just stamp the inside I think this ink pad and my Knight of Navy are my juiciest ink pads and do take a little while to dry. Okay, now this has got the insert that has got the big divot in it, not just the little divot, to match up. So to go into the uh, running to win a giveaway for next week, so this week's giveaway was this pack of Glimmer Paper and Carrie Ann's won it. Uh, you just need to comment on my page and uh, share and then comment that you've shared as well and you go into the running for that and that will be drawn um, next week. Okay, I've just stuck that in the pretty peacock, so I've had to clean that. Um, line that up. There's a bit of a smudge on that inside one, but that's okay. It's handmade. And then this one, I've used the smaller leaf image. And I've just kind of stuck to underneath, like the leaves are kind of holding up the flower. Just put a line over that. That's annoying. That's why you need to make sure you don't press too hard on the ink so you don't get it on the block. Right, and there's ink there. Alright, so we'll close all these up. Now I did already punch out of the vellum that comes in this suite as well, which is the So Saffron. I did already punch these out, which is a coordinating punch for this bundle. So 
I didn't stamp anything on these, I just punched them out. I will get some glue dots and stick these together because we'll off center. Oh, I've got ink on the bottom of that now because I've got ink on my fingers. Thanks, Marie. And then we'll just stick a dimensional on the back of them. Where did I stick my dimensionals? Now this vellum comes in a pack as part of the suite you get. They come in 12 by 12 sheets. Um, and you get the So Saffron, Old Olive and Flirty Flamingo. Okay. Now we get all our inside bits and we can tape them now that we've stamped I've taken the backs off them already that's a bit silly So if anyone is local to Baronia Heights or Park Ridge in Brisbane and wants to come see me tomorrow, there's a family fun day at Park Ridge daycare or childcare and preschool from 10 a.m. that I'll be having a stall at. And then these ones. We're just going to stick a strip across the middle and it doesn't really matter where diagonally because we're offsetting um, because then we're going to layer the other piece, the Sahara sand piece, with the dimensionals. Okay. So there's really no rhyme or reason. We'll stick the inside bits in first. match the colours up oops and this is why you don't take the backings off you ready to use them that's a bit silly Coco Rose. This is terracotta tile. C 
Seaside Spray. And then Purple Posy. Okay, so the insides are done. I'll just get rid of some of that rubbish. Just off center that. Now I haven't worked like I've stamped straight for the white piece. I know some people have a little bit more OCD than I do, that they would have to stamp crooked on the white piece because it's offset onto the card, so that then when it's on the card, it's right way up. I'm okay with it being off center and not straight. I wanted it straight on the white piece. Oh, that's so pretty that one. All right. So then we stick some dimensionals on here. Nearly done. Okay, and then when we stuck these on, get the right colours. I did, did because this image has this layer behind this piece, this sketch. So I've done that. You don't have to, but I've done it. And that was another reason why I only stuck one little strip in the middle so that I've got enough room here to get underneath that and with the checks you kind of have to make sure you line it up otherwise you can really see how crooked you are. Okay, so push that under. Line that up. This is a Rococo Rose. Does anyone else find these little dimensional backings everywhere? Like, I swear to God, they're in every room of my house. Oh, I like that. Let's just straighten him up a bit. Oh, I think that one could be my favourite tonight. And then we've got Seaside Spray. And the 
last one is Purple Posy. Yep, even stuck to the cat. I don't have a cat, but they are everywhere. Doesn't matter how much I think I've got them in the bin. Oh, what's wrong with that ribbon there? Okay, so then the rest of the sketch, we'll just move some of them over there. I didn't want to stick, oh god, Ugh. I didn't want this on every image, so on the previous cards that I've made, I've made the, to put it on the purple posy and I put it on the terracotta tile, so then tonight I'm going to stick it on the other ones. So we won't put it on those two. And then we just finish that off with one of these fuzzy flower centers in there. Doesn't that look cute? Yes, they get stuck on everything. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get the backing off these flower centers is quite difficult. That one, and then this is the last one. So we'll just quickly clean up so that you can see what we've done tonight. Just move all that over here. And then we'll just can made this one, this one, and this one, and then those two. So which do you think is your favourite? I think tonight I like the Rococo Rose one. I think it's the scripty writing because that's why I liked this one so much which was um, the ones that I made as my template the scripty writing in the background the different DSPs make it make them look very different the green one still mum it's pretty peacock bottom right one for me bottom right this one Donna the terracotta tile See, orange is my favourite colour, but um, yeah, this is still growing on me. I like it. Alright, so I'll flip you guys back around. So you can see me. Um, so just for a reminder for those that attend my classes, I've sent out the reminder for the payment of the classes. Rococo Rose, that's right. That's my favorite tonight too, Carrie. Um, because there's some product that's being ordered for that class, so I need to get um, the order in quickly for that so that I've got everything all ready for that class. Um, I like the blue one and the dark one. I, the Seaside Spray is growing on me the more I use it. Um, and yeah, the Pretty Peacock I think is it's it's a clear winner I think it's good um, yeah so make sure payment comes in for the classes I thank you for those that have already paid um, or sent me a reminder that of what day it will be paid um, if you haven't already got your catalog 
That's one of our punches that I've just dropped. If you haven't already got our catalogue, um, let me know and I'll pop one in the post for you if you haven't already got a Stamping Up demonstrator. Um, I can only post these to people in Australia. So let me know if you haven't got one already and you don't already have a demonstrator that you regularly order from. And then just a little reminder about my um, Daisy Lane bundle as well. So the promotion that I'm running for that is that punch that I just dropped. If you, I'll just pick it up. If you purchase just the stamp set, it's you go into the drawer uh, for a twenty-five dollar voucher from me. If you purchase the bundle, which so the stamp set's just forty dollars. If you purchase the bundle, it's sixty-one dollars, and the bundle is the smaller Daisy Punch, which is it's called the medium Daisy Punch. So that bundle is sixty-one. If you purchase that, then you go in the drawer for a six uh, for a fifty-dollar voucher from me. If you purchase the big bundle which is the existing punch that was carried over from last year if you haven't already got it so if you purchase all three of these items you're in the drawer for a $50 voucher from me plus you get a clear or gold set of faceted gems of your choice so and they look like these I don't have very many left so they're the clear ones. I like the clear ones better because you can colour them with your blends. So you can make them whatever colour you want. Um, the gold ones don't colour so well because they're already coloured. But that's my promotion. It's running to the end of the month. In order to be in the drawer, those orders have to come through me. So if you let me know, I um, can place those for you. Or you can order online through my online shop. And Adrian will pop the link up for you because he's good like that. Um, and I think that's it so if anyone's around tomorrow locally and want to pop by and see me I will be at Park Ridge Daycare and Park Ridge Daycare and Preschool uh, for the Family Fun Day from 10am and I'll have a stall promoting my classes and selling my cards but there'll be on McDonald's Farm face painting um, jumping castle and everything for the kids as well and I think entry is five dollars for adults and three dollars for kids, but that includes a burger and a sausage. So, all right, thanks guys for joining me, and I'll see you um, next week.